Zane Clockfelter with EvansvilleOtters.com here with Josh Allen. Josh, another year. What are the what's the mindset? Um, going into this year, it's just basically you know do what we did last year. You know, I mean, we uh, won the championship last year, and we have a pretty good core group of guys coming back. So it's just basically instilling that same winning mindset and seeing if we could do it again. Going through the single season records last year, you set a lot of them in terms of batting average, doubles. Then you win the Frontier League championship. You win the MVP. What's What's there left to accomplish for you this year? Um, there's there, there's definitely a lot more to accomplish. I mean, last year was a special year and one that uh, I didn't necessarily want to end. But, uh, you know, because you got to start back over from scratch. But, uh, you know, I mean, I'm looking forward to the challenge. And, you know, if I could put up the numbers close to what I did last year, I'd be happy with it. But that's going to be a tough, uh, tough season to definitely, you know, do over again. But, you know, the main thing is just helping my team win and seeing if we can get another ring. Yeah, and the core group of guys since you've gotten here are all still here. How key is that consistency in the roster in terms of building success? Oh, definitely. You know, I mean, the you know John Schultz's, the Chris Sweeney's, the Hunter Ackerman's. You know, all those guys that have been here for a while. We know what Andy expects of us. We know you know how to go about how to go about our business. And uh, you know, I mean, it's just basically it makes it a lot easier when you have those kind of guys, especially. And you know, we have a lot of guys that could instill that same mindset in the way we do things with the new guys coming in and definitely makes for an easier transition. As one of the key veterans and team leaders on this roster, what are going to be some things you're looking for at the beginning of the season? Um, you know, I mean, just playing hard mindset, you know, just kind of getting back in the swing of things. And, you know, the beginning of the year is just more about, you know, trying to get comfortable, trying to get used to, you know, game speed again and everything like that. And, um, but, you know, I mean, definitely come out strong. Um, you know, like to, you know, see our bats wake up this year. You know, definitely, you know, I mean, we, uh, our pitchers definitely bailed us out of some big situations last year, so it would help if we uh, scored a bunch of runs and made it easy on ourselves this year. Speaking of that game five with Hunter Ackerman, yes. right? I mean, what a gym that was. How <laughs> crucial was he down the stretch and then in the playoffs? Oh, right man, now? you know, we, we don't we don't win that game if it's not for Hunter. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I mean, I mean, that just shows, you know, how our team is. You know, I mean, we have guys that will pick each other up when the others aren't performing, and uh, that was a prime example of it when, we were down and out of it. Hunter, you know, put us on our back, put us on his back, and rode out with us. <laughs> and then finally, uh, you know, everybody has a different off-season regimen and plan. What did you do in the off-season? Uh, I worked private security and uh, worked on my dad's ranch and uh, digging post holes and all that fun stuff. So you had to stay in shape then, right? <laughs> I did. I did Exa exactly. I uh, I'm free labor at the house, so he's not going to give up an opportunity like that. So <laughs> it's not bad. He's Josh Allen. I'm Saint Clockfilter with EvansvilleOtters.com.